skeleton looked peaceful. Held tightly in its hand was a red feather. The statue spoke, just as it once moved the hearts of the forlorn. The instrument you now hold has the power to move the world around you. Another before you took great effort to hide it deep within this riddle. Suddenly, the reason was obvious. The pig inhaled a giant snort of air. Wait, what's that delicious smell? Ember shuffled nervously. Other embers fed me treats, but then stopped. You feed me now. As the pig chewed, a light grew in its belly. Surprising, a little sparky but tingly and belly. But what I want is... something more fruity. The pig would eat anything. Ember just needed to find more. The skull was disgusting. Perhaps the pig would like it. This was the last thing Ember could find to offer. Crunchy, embery, not much meat, bit too bony. But what I want is, the pig's stomach made an almighty sound. Ember chuckled with relief at the large creature they had been so afraid of. The pig had vanished. But something moved beneath the surface. In a muddy pond, Ember thought the pig looked a lot less imposing. The pig shouted joyously. The water feels so good on the skin. Join me, Morsel. The pig seemed happy, but Ember wasn't getting too close. Why do I consume whatever people put in front of me? 
I need some true nourishment, but there's none left here. But so much cooler in this muddy pond, I can finally think. Thank you, Morsel. <laughs> <laughs>